ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 737 Classic Cockpit. And today, as per request, we will try to do uh, both engine flame out at uh, short finals. This will happen at around 300 feet above the ground or 0.7 nautical miles to the touchdown point. Uh, there is not really a procedure for that because both engines are failing at a very low height but I'll try to show you what can be done and what happens. So we are currently at 880 feet or 2.8 miles from touchdown. Here we go. Currently the autopilot is flying the aircraft. However, I will shortly disconnect it. Autopilot disconnect. And I'll disconnect the auto thrust as well. So we are currently on glide path. Our speed is 135 knots. That is our approach speed at our weight of 46 tons. 600 feet above the ground, 1.5 miles. I'm visual with the runway. I can turn off the flight directors. And I'll try to maintain myself approximately on the glide path. feet and the old flame out and now it's all about energy I have to have enough speed to reach the runway and I don't want to rotate more than 13 degrees here we go hard touchdown and now because I am losing hydraulic power I will have some difficult time steering the aircraft and braking but slowly we are getting there. But as you can see, it's trying to veer a little bit to the left. I'm trying to keep it to the right. And it's 60 knots, now it's going left. I can feel on the flight controls that we are losing the hydraulic power. And... We have stopped. Now, it was definitely a very hard touchdown. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it's still better than a crash landing or something. Um, but we have survived it because we had enough energy. Now I want to demonstrate to you what happens if we try the same from 500 feet above the ground or approximately 1.4 nautical miles from the touchdown point. Here we go. Okay, so currently we are at 820 feet above the ground, 2.5 miles from touchdown. We are aiming for 500 feet, uh, where our both engines will flame out. I'll disconnect the autopilot. Turn the speed off on the auto thrust. And let's see how it goes. Uh, I have a little bit more time now, so I will tell you why I said we don't want to rotate more than 13 degrees. And that is very simple, we don't, didn't want to do a tail strike on the 737-300. So, we are on speed, on glide path, 500 feet or 1.4 miles. Both engine flame out. Now, we are losing the energy very, very quickly, but we, don't, we want to have enough speed. And as you can see, we are now slipping far, far below the glide path and we will not reach the runway. So I hope you enjoyed our short presentation on a dual engine failure on short finals. You have seen that it might be survivable, but then at the same time, it all depends on the energy you have and the distance from the runway. So I want to wish you that this will only stay a presentation and you will not have this in real life. Thank you very much. See you next week.